Hey guys and welcome to Yak Whack Slips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is a brand new game coming soon, and that is Castle Dawnstein. I'm just about to start the demo. Um, if you fancy getting the demo yourself, just head into the description down below and I'll leave a link to the Steam page. If, though, this is your first time here, welcome. Um, I create purely adventure game content from um, old school things like Monkey Island, Broken Sword, through to, um, well, through to new games like Castle Dawnstein. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please make sure that you hit the like button, you make sure you subscribe, and um, why not toggle the little bell as well so you don't miss any of my uh, adventure game videos. Thanks very much for that. Right, just a little word on Castle Dawnstein and the developers. So the developers are Digital Mosaic Games, who also created 2019 Metaphobia, which is a completely free and um, full game, a uh, point and click game. And again, you can get that down um, in the description down below from, from Steam. And if you do enjoy this uh, game, then make sure that you um, wishlist it and follow it. And if there's a Kickstarter coming along, I don't know, don't really know, I'm not sure, then make sure you follow that as well. Um, anyway, I'm going to click in and let's just get on with the game, shall we? Right, new game, let's go. I'm not sure if there's any um, voice acting, so I'm going to read it. Dear Master Hemlock, for three years I have searched for someone fluent in all forms of medieval Latin to translate one of the books in my collection, Dorium Historia Orbis Terrarum. That's exactly right. Or the History of the Gods of Earth. Given your literary knowledge, I assume you have heard of this mysterious and rare masterpiece. Some call it the Devil's Diary. I, however, am not a superstitious man. I hope to read and study it out of academic interest. The book was a family heirloom lost for generations. I've only just rediscovered its whereabouts three years ago. Since then, I have sought a potential translator. Mr. Borovsky is an acquaintance of mine and has recommended you for the job. He speaks quite highly of your expertise in this area and I would like to hire your services. I appreciate your help in advance with all my heart. Please accept my invitation to Castle Dornstein. We shall welcome you warmly as a part of our humble family. Best regards, Theodore Dornstein the Third. Hmm, ominous. At last, Castle Dornstein. It's a relief to finally be here. There hasn't been a storm this bad in months. It's only mid-afternoon, but the clouds make it feel like night is already upon us. Ah, that must be one of Lord Dornstein's servants. Left click to interact with an object, hotspot or character, and right click to look at an object, hotspot or character. Okay, that's simple enough. So I am this dude. Carriage. I'm not going anywhere. Right click, that's the carriage I arrived in. Brilliant. Just hovering around, see if there's an inventory. Right, there's a little backpack down here. I have zilch, and there's a little um, options menu there. Fabulous, let's go. I must say already, I'm a sucker for pixel art, so massive, huge plus. Seventh. Master Everhard, I presume? Yes, you may call me Hemlock if you like. Welcome to Castle Dawnsteed, Master Hemlock. My name is Severin. I hope your journey was not too tiring. Not too much. It was actually quite pleasant until this storm started. A nasty storm indeed. Please come inside. I will retrieve your luggage from the carriage shortly. Thank you, Severin. This is the key to your room. It's just up these stairs at the end of the hall on your left. Thank you. I apologise that our more formal guest chambers are unavailable at the moment. They have not been used in some years and are in terrible disrespair. disrespair. The chamber you shall be staying in is a modest one I use for my personal studies. Thank you. I'm sure it's lovely. If you require any personal comforts, I would be happy to oblige a special request. That won't be necessary. Sir, I pride myself on providing exemplary service beyond that which is merely necessary. You are a guest of Lord Theodore Dornstein III. As long as you are residing in these castle walls, you will be treated as though you are a Dornstein yourself. 
That's very kind. If I think of something, I won't hesitate to ask you. Very good, sir. When you are ready, Lord Dornstein has asked that I bring you to his office. He is eager to meet you in person. Excellent. I would like to meet him as well. Wonderful. Is there anything I can assist you with first? Let's discover about the castle. It's a nice lo looking castle, isn't it? How long has this castle been here? The castle was first built in the mid-13th century in the Gothic style. At the time, it served as a, as a respite for traders bringing luxury goods across Bohemia. Aristocrats assigned to protect the royal trade routes oversaw the castle. Those trade routes eventually moved further south, and the castle was no longer needed for such purposes. Lord Theodore Dornstein I acquired it in the early 15th century, and it has been the residence of the Dornstein family ever since. The structure is in remarkable shape considering its age. There was a devastating fire in the mid-17th century. The Dornstein family commissioned a renovation in the Baroque style, though much of the building has retained its Gothic character. That's quite stunning. Indeed. I may be biased in this opinion, but I find it to be one of the most elegant castles in the region. I've heard much about the Dornstein family. What can you tell me about them? The Dornsteins are one of the most eminent families in Bohemia, and they have been for many generations. Lord Fyodor Dornstein I made his fortune trading silver, acquiring many properties and estates. These days, the family earns most of its income from agriculture. A wheat and barley farm has been quite a lucrative venture, though the family owns many other farms in the region. I see. Lord Dornstein's, Dornstein's work has consumed nearly all his time of late. I suspect this is part of the grieving process, but I do wish he would find more time for leisure. Grieving? Haven't you heard? Lady Sylvia, his wife, died only six months ago. This has been a traumatic year for the family. I'm so sorry to hear that. How did she die? The doctors diagnosed her with typhus fever, but it was unlike any case of typhus I've ever seen. She became ill quite suddenly and the sickness spread swiftly. How horrible. Lady Wolatka? Wolatka has taken it particularly hard. She was very close with her mother. Naturally. Perhaps your work on this book will help Lord Dornstein's take Lord Dornstein's mind off his grief for a, for a time. I must say he has had a far more positive disposition since receiving your letter. Right, let's ask about him. He seems like a nice chap. How long have you been working for the Dornsteins? Many years now. I was attending university when I met Lord Theodore's father, Lord Augustine, Augustine Dornstein. Lord Theodore was just a young man at the time, though already quite successful. Lord Augustine hired me to tend to the castle grounds while the family travelled to Italy for the summer. He invited me to stay on through the winter and I've been at Castle Dornstein ever since. I presume you enjoy your work then? The Dornsteins have always shown me kindness. They are like a family to me. I attended Lord Theodore's Fe wedding to Lady Sylvia and I helped care for their daughter when she was, an was only a child. I can hardly believe my eyes when I see the beautiful young woman she has become. Dinner. Oh yeah, hungry. Is it possible to get something to eat? Of course. You must be hungry after your journey. Dinner will be served shortly in the dining room. Do you enjoy roasted duck? Certainly. Wonderful. I will see that your luggage is brought to your room. But first, Lord Theodore is expecting you in his office. He is quite eager to see you. Thank you, Severin. I will see him now. His office is the first door on the left. Here, allow me to take your coat. Thank you. Fabulous. So let's go and meet Lord Theodore then. Oh, these are great pixel arts. I wonder if I can look at those pictures. Right, he's walking up all, all together. Painting, painting. The plate says Magdalena Lucretia Kuntz, wife of Gottfried Ferdinand Dornstein I, 1602. We'll have a look at these all later on. First one on the left. For your Theodore's office. Wonderful. Good evening. Welcome to Castle Dornstein. What a pleasure to finally meet you. Good evening, my lord. I must thank you a thousandfold for this opportunity. Oh, Hemlock, my friend. No need for such formalities. Call me Fyodor. Please sit. Make yourself comfortable. Though we have only spoken through letters, I feel a kinship between us. We are very similar, you and I. We are? 
Yes, we are both lovers of the written words. We are academics. What some would call a dusty old manuscript fills us with shivers of excitement. We crave knowledge. Curiosity is, in great and generous minds, the first passion and the last. My son, you quote Samuel Johnson. We are cut from the same cloth indeed. How refreshing to speak with a well-read man. We have much to discuss. Wow, it's a very talky game already, isn't it? Alright, I am only going to play it for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. Um, so if the game go continues on, you can play it for yourself, like I say. Link in the description down below. And what do we want to know about? Let's say condolences. Please accept my condolences, sir. I'm sorry for what happened to Lady Sylvia. We all are. Thank you, Hemlock. It is exceedingly difficult to lose someone you love so deeply. We were married for more than 30 years. When you're married that long, your souls become entwined and the pain of tearing them apart is unspeakable. Have you ever been in love, young man? Once, I think. Her name was Anetska. We were both 13 when we met. I'm not sure that counts. Everything counts. Love does not consider age. Romeo and Juliet were but 13 themselves. A well-read man could hardly name a couple more in love. With all due respect, sir, that is only a story, and a tragic one at that. Yes, I suppose Shakespeare understood well the ways in which joy and tragedy intermingle in our lives. Please, sir, tell, tell me about yourself. I'm afraid my life is quite dull. Nothing to interest a young man such as yourself. I once owned... I own acres of farmland, but they are tended to by others. I spend my days managing my investments and my evening readings. Since my wife's passing, my work and my books are the only things that have kept me sane. Vladka, my daughter, locks herself in her room most of the day. She wants little to do with me. Women at her age are impossible to speak to, and so I remain alone in my office. I would trade everything I have to be a young man in Prague again. Such a beautiful city. You're not so old. Why don't you move to Prague? Young man, if you only knew how the politics of a family name worked. Nobles may be rich, but they are never truly free. We are, te we are tethered to our heirlooms and properties, such as the trappings of heritage. Ah, but listen to me, an old man complaining about his life of luxury. I only wish I could escape the stone walls of this castle more often. The castle is quite impressive. How long has your family owned it? This castle has been home to the Dornstein family since the 15th century. My ancestors were among the wealthiest families in Central Europe. I'm not sure we hold that distinction any anymore, but we certainly manage, I believe. The castle's masonry has undergone reconstruction five times since then. The last changes were made 100 years ago. We gave it a dash of the Renaissance, Renaissance flair, and it's been that way ever since. The furniture and decor are far more current. For that, I have my late wife to thank. Your daughter, Lady Vladka, is it Vladka? I'm going to say Vladka, lives here in the castle as well? She does. I couldn't wish for a more beautiful or intelligent daughter. Though I wish she were more focused on her studies, she reads nothing but foolish romances and fantasies all day. But such stories uplift the soul, sir. I would never forbid anyone to read that which they enjoy. I do not forbid anything. I only wish he would spend more time in the real world rather than escaping to imaginary ones. It is a question of balance. So you are a lover of books? What have you been reading lately? Fifty Shades of... No, sorry. Recently, my mind has been drawn towards the sciences. I'm reading a most excellent study on the history of astronomy. I shall lend it to you once I'm finished. How about you? What do you like to read? That depends. I certainly enjoy a good horror story and always like to revisit the classics. Recently though, much of my time has been consumed with linguistics. Yes, a little bit of everything. That's a spirit, young man. Still, you must have a favourite. I believe a man's preference defines his character. If I had to choose, the works of Milton are incomparable. I've read him more than anyone. Milton, of course. A poet and a scholar. I understand you now. A man must tend not only to his mind, but to his soul as well. Very good. Right, now we're here for the for the meat. That's why we're here, Gregovitz's book. I must say, I was shocked to hear you have Dor Dirum Historia in your collection. I thought the book was merely a legend. I assure you, it is quite real. I've heard campfire tales. 
about the monk Gregor Grigorovich and how his meetings with the devil drove him to madness? Yes, yes. The devil possessed his heart and used his hands to write the devil's diary. Am I recording it correctly? Precisely. Nothing more than a campfire story, as you say. Though the real Grigor Grigorovich did go insane. After a lifetime serving God, something broke in his mind and he became obsessed with the occult. He set his mad ravings down on paper and that's how Dorium Historia Orbis Terrarium came about. Many of his ideas about satanic rituals and evil curses still inform our modern folklore. Fascinating. I'm flattered you chose me to translate the book. I'm eager for you to get your hands on it. You may be the only man within a thousand kilometers who knows as many forms of medieval Latin as you do. Yes, learning dead languages has become something of an obsession for me. Your obsession is about to pay off. For the life of me, I cannot determine the, di the dialect Grigorovich used when writing the book. And if this is to be the only translation of Dorium Historia, it must be precise. I will not accept anything but a perfect translation of the original text. I'm sure I can be of assistance. Excellent. I, na I know I speak for everyone when I say you're quite happy to have you here, Hemlock. Thank you, sir. Anything you need, anything at all, please let Severin know. Dinner will be served shortly. Very good, sir. Whew. Blimey. That's like 15 minutes of talk. Let's have a look around the room. Anything here? Cabinet. I wouldn't dare touch Lord Dornstein's property, especially his books. Anything here? I don't want to talk to him again. Let's go a wonder. Let's go a wonder and see if we can find Vladka. I think I'd like to see my personal chamber now. Besides, I want my diary in case I need to write down my any notes. Right, so that's that's the dining room. What did he say about my room? Was it further up the stairs? I don't remember now. Hemlock's chamber. There we are. Right at the end. It's locked. Oh, frig. This is my personal chamber. Um, no, that's the wrong one. Resume. Oh, we have a key. Right, guest room key. Click. There we go. Wow, this is as nice as the finest hotel in Prague. Bed, luggage. Poetry. Various books. Painting of a dog. Wardrobe. Let's open the luggage first. I'll take my diary with me in case I need to write any notes. Wonderful. So I presume that's in here. Diary. Can we have a look at the diary? Right click. My personal journal. If I need to remember something, I'll write it in here. So if I left click on it. Nothing. Right, okay. Um, anything else? Wardrobe. Don't need to use a wardrobe. Everything I have fits neatly in my luggage. Maybe later, maybe later. I'm a guest here, not a thief. Alright, let's go back out then. I guess we go into the dining room, get some food. I'd like the walk cycle to be a little bit faster. But then that's just me being impatient. I must say, the art style is um, right on my alley. Nice. This is uh, very reminiscent of the uh, the corruption within. If you haven't played that? Go play that. It's awesome. Sir Hemlock. What, what, what? <laughs> I do I do the accents and I forget. Sir Hemlock, welcome. Sorry I'm late. Nonsense, my friend. You're right on time. Come join us. Oh, that music's gorgeous. I prepared this feast especially for your arrival. It looks delicious. Did you cook all this? Only the roasted duck and radishes. A variation on a family recipe. The cabbage and potatoes I leave to Anna. There is no competing with her there. Hello, dear. Pleasure to meet you. If you need anything at all during your stay, just shout my name and I'll come running. I mean, th these accents just flow out of me. It's like I'm embodying her. Thank you, Anna. Dinner smells wonderful. Thank you, but we do ask that you reserve your praise until you have tasted the meal. Ha, <laughs> fair enough. Did you find your personal chamber? Is everything to your liking? I did, it's perfect. 
I hope you all forgive the castle's current state of disrepair. Disrepair. Compared to other castles in the region, ours is positively crumbling. I think the castle is... Castle is marvellous. Ah, you're just being polite. I just haven't had the money of, money of a late for a proper reconstruction. Though if you ask the villagers in Krokonov, they'll say the castle looks the way it does because it's haunted by ghouls or some such nonsense. Pay no attention to that. The masonry is centuries old and... Please, father, I don't think our guest wants to discuss architecture when there is a hot meal getting cold on the table. Of course. And part of my manners, I've not introduced my daughter, Lady Vladka, shrewd and candid as ever. I'm honoured, my lady. The honour is mine. My father has told me much about you. Indeed I have. Please eat, Hemlock. You must be hungry. Yes, how rude of us. We started dinner without you. Forgive us. We're not accustomed to having guests in the castle. Perhaps we should say a prayer for this fine meal. Yes, an excellent idea. Wait, where's, where is Joseph? We should wait for him. Please, Father, if we wait for him, it could be morning before we eat. Vladka! He's just come inside from the rain. He'll join us shortly. Very well. Oh, my word, this is talky. <laughs> oh. Lord, we thank you for the meal before us and all the warm comforts we enjoy on this cold evening. We also thank you for the safe arrival of our guest, Sir Hemlock, who travelled far to be with, it, with us here tonight. Amen. Here he is. Join us, my boy. We have quite the feast here. Um, I might make him Welsh. Thank you, sir. I apologise for my tardiness. It's fine. We started without you. The fire feels nice. I get soaked out there tending to the horses. Quite a storm. Very nice. Very nice animations. It's a slow burner, I feel. Joseph, this is Sir Hemlock. An honour to meet you, sir. Joseph is our gardener, and a fine one at that. He's nearly as talented with seed and soil as you are with the written word. I only try to live up to my father's work. Joseph's father worked for us for many years. We were terribly sad to lose him, but Joseph has filled in admirably. I haven't had a chance to see the full grounds yet, but I look forward to doing so tomorrow. Yes, of course, it's beautiful. But tonight you must see the library. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on Gregor Greg uh, Gregorovitz's book. Here, before I forget. This key opens the cabinet up of the fireplace. You'll find Dearham Historia there. It's a large volume with a red binding. You can't miss it. Excellent. I appreciate your trust. I'm eager to see the book. And I'm eager to see your translation. And I'm rather eager to eat. I hope the two of you will find time to enjoy dinner tonight. Ha! Yes, of course, dear. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Please, Hemlock, eat. Whew! It's very atmospheric, isn't it? I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's good. Let me know if you're liking it down below in the comments. I know it's very, like, we haven't done a lot. It's very, um, it's very, very, very talky. And it's kind of guiding me in the direction it wants me to go rather than let me investigate. But there's plenty of time to investigate, I'm sure. Um, yeah, let's carry on. Excuse me, Master Hemlock. May I speak with you? Yes, milady. You said you are an expert in Latin, correct? I think so, yes. I wonder if you could do me a favour. My mother has a locked chest where she kept her most private belongings. Since her death, I have not been able to open it. I'm sorry, I'm no locksmith. There is no normal lock. It requires a password. There is some sort of riddle written in Latin on the chest. For the life of me, I can't solve it. Hmm, how odd. I could certainly take a look. Would you? That would be wonderful. I have so few personal mementos from her. I would love to know what she kept in that chest. Where can I find it? In the library, beside the clock. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll see what I can do. Right, finally we can have a have a walk around. Let's see what we can pick up. Can't sit down and eat all day. I have things to do. Portraits, portraits. I'm a guest here, not a thief. Um, right. 
Let's go and investigate the library. Uh, where was the library? I'm guessing it's downstairs. Or upstairs. Was someone upstairs? I'm not too sure. Um, no. Nice painting, though. You'll leave it there. A ship lost at sea in the middle of a storm. Reminds me of the seafaring adventures I read as a boy. Beware the calm of the dark storm's eye. Leagues beneath the terror lies. When rain clouds blow the ship due east. That's when Kraken likes to feast. I used to love those stories. Let's go down the stairs. If you have got this far into the video so far, um, thanks very much for watching. Be sure so that you go and um, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, come and find me on all the socials as well. Because I'm on all the socials. Just type in, just type in Yak Wax Lips. And uh, yeah, I'll be there. Right, can we go anywhere else? A deer. A deer? A beautiful sculpture of a deer. I imagine the local woods have many deer. Right, should we, is this the outside door? No, it's not. The room is dark. I can't see anything. Do I have anything in here? I have a cabinet key. Oh, that's what the dude gave me. My diary and the room key. Right, here's the chest that we wanted to. Too dark in here, I can't see anything. Okay. Too dark in here, can't see anything. Too dark, right, he can't see. So he needs to probably get a light. I mean, that's what you need to see, isn't it? Light. Don't want to bother him right now. He's already done more than enough for me. Um, Maybe the candles? Buckets of water? No. Right, let's head upstairs and see where else we can go. Maybe we have to speak to the um, the maid, or maybe we can go back into our into our bedroom and investigate that a little bit, a little bit closer. Let's go back into the dining room because I didn't really have a good look around. I mean, maybe the fire fireplace. Don't want to burn yourself. Table. Hmm. What's that? Matches. Yeah, that would work. If you're a long-time watcher, you'll know that I'm very good at missing things <laughs> like that. This may be useful if I need to light something. So we need something as well. And um, yeah, if you do, if you do want to watch more adventure games as well as subscribe to the channel, I also um, I'm also on Twitch. So head to twitch.tv forward slash yakwaxlips and I play loads of adventure games um, where you will find me constantly missing things. And but this time, as I'm live, you can shout at me in the chat. Hmm. What else could I? What could I use the matches for? Maybe I'd, maybe I'll just go back and use them in the library. I kind of feel like I need to, like, like a lamp or something. Hmm. Actually, let's talk to her. Don't want to bother her. Okay, fair enough. If I head to my bedroom, see if there's a lamp. Actually, it's all the way over there, isn't it? I'm not going to do that. Let's go into this guy's office. Do I want to go poking around? Let's go down. I wonder if I double click, it goes faster. Double click. No. It's slow burn in more than one ways. More than one ways? More than one way. Like, I appreciate the atmosphere it's put into it. And it looks gorgeous and it sounds great. Just um, wish the main guy would walk a bit faster. Right. Now, can we... Oh, I have a wood log. Use that with that. Doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, dear. Um, doesn't make any sense at all. Is there a fireplace in here? Maybe I can keep walking over here. Make a fireplace. There is a fireplace. Aha. Uh -huh. There's also a cabinet. Right, let's put the wood log in the fireplace. There we go. Now you can set a fire. Oh, I need to use it on the fire. Yay! God said, let there be light. And there was light. Fabulous. So that's the book that we need, isn't it? That, this must be the cabinet Lord Theodore told me about. I'd like to help Lady Vladka with the chest first, though. Right, let's go go do the chest puzzle, then. It's Latin, isn't it? That's what she said. Let's have a look at this chest. This must be the chest that belonged to Lady Sylvia. I wonder if Severin knows anything about this. He seems to know about everything in this castle. Aha, uh -huh, this chest looks quite old. Lady Sylvia must have had it a long time. It's in excellent condition, though. Hmm, Mos Maorum. Latin for customs of our ancestors. That must be a clue to the password. Ah, so we have to remember what we talked about. And we've done so much talking. Um, I don't remember. What is it? A, E, H, L, Q, 
So there's five per letter L, O, Q, A, H. Okay, let's go out. Let's go talk to um, talk to the butler. I've forgotten his name already, Severin. Severin? Severin? What can you tell me about Lady Sylvia's family? Warren Hagen was her maiden name, a noble family from the region. Hold on, I'm doing the wrong doing the wrong accent. If you are interested in learning more, I have a book on the noble Bohemian families in my personal collection. There are a few pages on the Warmhagens in there. You'll find it in your room. Thank you. I'll take a look. Right. Um, what I'm going to do there, guys, because it's been about half an hour already, I think I'm going to just call it quits um, and let you investigate the rest of the demo. Um, because, I mean, I'm not sure how long this demo is going to go on for, and it's a long one. Um, I don't want you hanging around and, and don't want to spoil the surprise for you. So go and give it a go yourself, guys. I think that's going to be um, the best bet. Make sure you wishlist it as well. So download the demo from Steam, wishlist it, and pick up Metaphobia whilst you're there as well, because that's an entirely free full game. If you have enjoyed my video, then make sure that you um, smash that like, because what that does is basically just shows um, YouTube that adventure games are well and truly alive, and this video will get pushed out to more people, and therefore the game will do well. <laughs> supposedly and um, and finally if you have really enjoyed um what i'm doing i also have a ko-fi page so if you want to um if you want to investigate that a little more it's just a way of supporting me uh, financially you can throw me um a dollar or you can subscribe to to a membership um it's entirely entirely your call i'll leave i'll leave all the descriptions down below for you to have a look at but um yeah thanks very much guys and i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening whatever it is you're doing right now and until next time take care